hello guys and welcome to the fifth tutorial of sap in this tutorial i'm gonna show you how to create your own database table so click on database table and enter the database table name that is your z student underscore data and click on create button so give a data description or your short description enter the delivery class that is your master class and data browser that is allow maintenance what does mean it means we can make changes in future if we want to make any changes then we have to do this maintenance allowance so click on field tab now it will redirect you to several screens now enter the field mandate mandate is your mandatory field if we are going to create a table which is client independent then we have to use a field mandate and if we want to create a table with system or with client dependent then we don't have to use this mandate field so enter first field equal to role uh, mandate second one is your role number and third one is your name we have taking the role number as a primary key and mandate as well always we have taken we have take mandate as a primary key third one is your class and enter it will show all the descriptions and uh, in the previous tutorial we have created all the data elements and we are using here that is uh, click on save button and save it as a local object so check it oh now announcement category click on utilities and announcement category enter and click on radio button first that can be announced deeply if we want make changes in future then we have to announce it here only save and activate it just uh, it will ask the data class data class is your master data transaction table what kind of table it is and define the size category how many number of data do you consist in your table now save it and go back and check it okay now we are going to create our table entries enter now click on menu go to extra uh, go to utility utilities then table content and create entries it will redirect you to the screen which we have entered roll number name and class enter anything which you want to save and save it save and go back click on menu utilities table content and display it and just execute this it will redirect you to the screen which you have entered the first entry of your table so thank you guys see you in the next tutorial bye